Good morning, everybody. This is Miss Patty. I'm going to bring you the children's message this morning. Last week, Mr. Jim touched a little bit on prayer. And this week, I'm going to continue that theme about prayer. We've all learned a lot of prayers in our life, from the time we were little all the way up through adulthood. Today, we're going to talk about a couple of specific prayers and how important it is to know how to talk to God. Because talking to God is just like talking to a friend. You can talk to him anytime, any place, anywhere. You don't necessarily have to close your eyes. You don't necessarily have to bend your head. You don't necessarily have to fold your hands. You can just talk to him like you would your best friend. Because he is your best friend. So let's go over a couple of prayers that we've learned as we grow up. The first prayer you may have learned is, Now I lay me down to sleep. Now I lay me down to sleep. I pray the Lord my soul to keep. May angels watch me through the night and wake me with the morning light. Amen. Isn't that great to know that God watches us even when we're sleeping? That's so reassuring, especially when it's thundering outside or you feel a little afraid. The second prayer we may learn is when we have something to eat. We teach this prayer to the preschoolers here at Celebration, and I'm sure it's familiar to a lot of you. It goes, God our Father, God our Father, we thank you, we thank you for our many blessings, for our many blessings, amen, amen. Or an easier prayer may be, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, thank you, God, for feeding me. There's all kinds of ways to say a blessing before you eat. It doesn't really matter as long as we say thank you. The third prayer you might learn as you get a little older and that you hear all the time in church is the Lord's Prayer. And it goes like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And you can find that in Matthew 6, 9 to 13. You'll notice it's a little different. I took it right out of the Bible. Sometimes we add, we've added a little on to the end, but that's okay too, about bring God glory and thy kingdom come. But the last prayer that I have up here is probably the most important prayer you'll ever say. It's a prayer asking Jesus into your life. Into your life. What a great way to do that. It's just a simple prayer. And I hope that one day, if not today, you will say this. And if you have said it, it's worth repeating. So why don't you say it with me if you truly mean it. If you truly mean it, then God will come into your heart. You just say something simply like this. Dear God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for sending Jesus to save me. Forgive me of all the wrong things I have done. Make me new. Help me to love you better. Help me to serve you better. I love you, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart and stay. Amen. That's the most important prayer you'll ever say. And as I said in the beginning, it doesn't matter how you pray. You close your eyes, you lift your head up, you fold your hands, you raise your hands. It's just about praying and talking to who is your best friend forever in your life. Have a great week. I hope you practice praying all week and come to know God better. We love you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for loving us. Amen. See you next week.